Well, welcome to How to Be a Bob 101. You know, it's nothing that I like more than bringing these shows to you to show you guys how to do things and how to be a good Bob. Well, I get a big kick out of that. Um, you know, everybody wants to know what a Bob is. Well, a Bob in today's definition is a guy that doesn't have a job. He lives with a single woman. And the only time that he does anything around the house is when she threatens to put him out. Well, I'm the guy. I'm Big Bob, and I'm the guy that helps you keep a place in the house. I keep you from getting put out. What I'm going to do with these shows and clips is I'm going to show you how to do things around the house, from cooking to cleaning to yard work, you name it. Big Bob is going to show you how to do it. And each time you do one of these things around the house, it earns you time. It prorates your time, two weeks, months, or whatever. Because a guy just can't survive on just putting it down like Tony Bone every night, you know, because it just don't happen that way. There's other sides to being a Bob. Sometimes it's a softer side. You can be soft and still keep your swagger because Big Bob, he knows what to do. And I'll show you. So we're going to see what's on the clipboard for today. I want to see what my Bob Ed has for me. So check this out. I saw a couple of roaches around the house. Would you please exterminate for us? Okay, you got it. That's what the show is going to be on today is exterminating. Nobody likes roaches. You can get roaches, but if you want to keep them, that's on you. But you don't have to keep them. What I've got here is some, one of the best Bug killers in the business. This is a do-it-yourself. You can pick this up at any one of the major stores, Home Depots or Lowe's. And it's called Ortho Home Defense. This is some of the best stuff that you can buy. You can spray it around the house, all around the corners and things like that. It's destined it will kill anything with six legs that's crawling. Uh, one of the things about it that's got a safety factor to it and all things that you use around the house. If you got kids, Spread only on the perimeters of the rooms and make sure that the kids don't crawl and play in these areas because you don't want the kids to get sick by picking up some of this, this product. But uh, Big Bob says, a good home is a home without bugs. Uh, roaches and centipedes, that's what we're going to be after today. Uh, you got a problem, your lady won't wash clothes around the house? Well, she doesn't want to go in the basement because there's centipedes down there. Those little things just crawl out and scare women. So you can become the hero. Have her to pick up some of this good old home defense. And buddy, you'll have a place to stay for another three or four weeks. And when you spray these bugs, they'll leave. Because if they don't pay rent, they can't stay. So we're going to go to uh, ground zero and check these things out. So you stick around with Big Bob and we're going to show you what to do. We're in the basement of uh, a neighbor's home. Uh, we're at ground zero where a lot of things take place with these uh, centipedes and things like that. So what we want to do is uh, we have to move a lot of things out of the way and uh, you want to be able to get some of this liquid onto some of the spots where roaches congregate. Now how do you use this stuff? It comes into a, uh, a little two-part top and you screw this on with the little hose and pull it up. And the way you load it up, it's just like loading up your old uh, 38 or 45. You just pull this mother and make it ready, and you're ready to shoot. And uh, we're going to show you where we're going to be aiming this baby at to uh, get some of these roaches and centipedes. Now what you want to do with this stuff is you want to get down up under or down behind things, and this stuff shoots out like that. You want to hit the wall. Make sure you get behind the washing machine and things like that. They love appliances because they're warm. Uh, one thing about bugs is they like anything with holes in it. And they like nice little wet places to uh, have their little kids at. So you want to get behind a little bit of everything and uh, make sure that you, all the edges of appliances, anywhere that they can walk and climb up on the things, just hit the rounds of your dryer the legs of the sinks, pipes, and things like that. 
And if they touch that stuff, buddy, you got them. Now, one of the other important places you want to get in a basement is you want to get up around these window sills and things like that. That's where those babies like to hang. Spiders like to make their webs up there, and there's a lot of cobwebs and things like that. So you want to be able to make your shots up there, perimeter, around the perimeters of windows, anywhere these babies crawl. And uh, let's uh, hit this. Uh, these things are funny at times, you know, they're stuck. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, man! You know what? Always remember, Big Bob always says, you know, when you're doing stuff around the house, Christ almighty, that shit burns. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh. Always wear your safety goggles. You never know when you're going to run into a problem with this stuff. You know, the uh, happy exterminator is a safe exterminator. And you want to get all of those spots. Remember, Big Bob says, practice safety. Now, when you're outside exterminating, you want to think of places. If you were a bug, where would you go and hide? Well, you, they crawl in your house on the doorways and things like that, so therefore you want to spray anything that they crawl on. Steps, the edges of steps, things like that. And we're going to hit some spots like this. You see that? Right along that doorway, that wood soaks into the wood. Edges of the steps. If you have animals around, uh, you want to be careful because they might uh, get a little bit out on them. Doorways, corners, especially corners anywhere where things can build nests and things like that. And there you have it. You've been in Exterminating 101 with Big Bob. I'll see you on the other side. Well, that wraps up another wonderful show with Big Bob. Well, I hope you enjoy that. You know, it's a funny thing about roaches. You know that people live with thousands of roaches in their homes, but I'll be damned if they let a fly come and buzz they play. They'll want to kill the fly, but the roaches are running around all over the kids and chewing them up and everything, but they won't do anything about the roaches. Well, if you're going to be a good Bob, you don't want to live in a situation like that. So, if you want to buy yourself a couple of weeks, get yourself some ortho, home defense, and take over the house with it, and uh, your lady will appreciate it. When those roaches are gone, you'll have a permanent place to stay. And if you ever want to know what a dead roach looks like, now we want to hear from you. We want letters. We want emails. Ladies, we want to hear from you. We want to hear about some of the problems that you're having with your own personal Bob. We know you got problems with them, but we can make it a little easier for you. We're, we're, your Bob will be a Bob in training with us. You just sit him down and have him to watch Big Bob, and I'll show him what to do. All right. I'll see you next time. I'm going to have to fire my personal assistant. I told him to have me a shot of Hennessy. Damn it. <laughs>